What's up guys? So look, I've gotten a fair number of emails and phone calls lately about how to create gang sheets. So I thought I'd take a second and just do a quick walkthrough. Um, look, using whatever graphic design software you're uh, comfortable with, uh, you can set up a sheet, you know, a template of some sort um, based on the, the needs of your printer. You know, if you have somebody else printing for you, just make sure you understand what their maximum print dimensions are. Ganging a sheet up isn't overly complicated. Um, and if you're using your own graphic design software versus some kind of online design tool, you're going to have a lot greater control over uh, sizes and shapes and aspect ratios and your colors and resolution and so on and so forth. So right out of the gate, what I'm going to try and do here is go ahead and set this page up to match our printable page width. So in document properties, we're going to change this to inches, and we will go to a 22.5 inch wide by, I'm not sure how big this is going to have to be yet, so we'll do 120 inches tall. And go ahead and change everything over to inches, and we're good. Now I'll go ahead and bring in some artwork. Alright, so lots of art. Like the biggest thing when you're doing this is making sure, one, you leave enough space between prints so that you can cut them apart afterward. Well, we see a lot of times people will try and you know, cram images as close as they possibly can. And what you're going to run into is a real tough time with a pair of scissors trying to get in between here and here. Right, so I wouldn't overdo it there. Make sure as you're scaling things that you're checking the size. And once you've got this laid out the way you want it, you're going to want to create generally a 300 dpi PNG image with a transparent background. And in Inkscape, which we're using here, it's pretty straightforward. Again, whatever your software is, I'm sure has the ability to do this. Just make sure you understand and read all of the options when you do the export to make sure that you know the file does not end up with a white background and that your resolution is high enough to give you a, a good uh, print result. So for us, we're gonna go 300 DPI, export just the selected items, that way we don't get the, the background image, and we'll just export this to our desktop as testgang.png. You'll note as I've laid this out, my actual image, the total image width is 21 point, uh, roughly 75 inches wide. We have a max printable width of 22.5. If you really needed to, you could pull these all the way up to the edge. Um, but just, again, be careful, because if you end up over that edge by a little bit, there's a high probability when you send this off to print, these items over here will be cut off. Now we can check that file we just made, which is here. <clears throat> and you can see that thing's ready to go, 300 dpi. Alright, now that we've made that image, um, let's just get it uploaded onto a website so we can get it printed. Now, It's picked up the correct size, approximately 21.74 inches wide by 33.77 inches tall. Um, means it's going to fit on three feet of film. If we need more, this image as a whole with all of the individual components more than once, we could change the copies here and get uh, two sets of that gang sheet.